to finish these simulation days because now we are uh, very close to the end. I'm pleased to uh, welcome on, uh, on stage uh, my two colleagues, uh, Eric Vedi and uh, Nadi Del Kosifi. So, uh, this presentation, we are back basically to uh, the, uh, the use of the software, the experience you get with the software. And to uh, conclude this day, we wanted to uh, give you a, a nice and smooth presentation about how to take the most and get the most out of the, uh, the graphical user interface and some of the tips that we can have. So Eric is uh, part of the development team on the uh, GUI side. And Nadine uh, is uh, part of the, uh, the um, uh, customer service department. And she's mainly involved uh, into training sessions. Thank you, Stefan. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, yes, so we are going to talk uh, about uh, graphical user interface and a uh, few tips to improve uh, your software experience. Um, we have split this presentation into main, uh, two main topics. So uh, the first one will be about uh, streamlining your work, and I will be speaking about uh, workspace saving, computation management, result step storage, and results uh, file management. And the second part, which will be uh, handled by my colleague, uh, will be about sharing your data uh, with all kind of uh, export, standard exports, static standard export, animations, special exports, VTFX format, and uh, one-click sharing, cloud export. Uh, I uh, also want to uh, stress uh, again that uh, none of these things are new. Uh, probably some of you uh, already know uh, these, uh, these uh, things. But we thought that it was, uh, it was worthwhile uh, doing a small recap uh, so that you can uh, uh, get a better use of, the, of our software and so that it would ease your life uh, running your simulations. So the first point is about uh, workspace saving. And when we uh, speak about uh, workspace, we speak about the state of the user interface, which uh, goes from view settings. So for example, uh, your specific navigation, um, zoom factors that you could, uh, you could have in your, in your graphical view, viewpoint also on your, on your objects but also some uh, appearance that you could have uh, selected for your object. For example, displaying the mesh, having some transparency, eventual symmetries in your, in your model. Also, uh, the results you are, uh, you are displaying, annotations that you could have, in your, uh, that you could have added in your, in your object, plots, state, current state displayed, uh, cutting planes, ISO surface, ISO volumes. So all kind of things that uh, you would like to have in your, in your view. The workspaces can be uh, saved in both uh, setup and analysis mode. Uh, they are automatically saved with your, uh, with your projects, but you can also uh, save them on, uh, on demand, which you could use to save several different or different workspaces for the same project. If you if you are interested in specific uh, in different specific views for your for your models, then you can have different different workspaces. So we think this is a, this is a big time saver because when you are uh, when you are going to reopen your workspace, you will recover all the previous settings uh, in the in the user interface. Next uh, next item is about computation uh, computation management. And uh, the user, uh, graphical user interface, again, provides some basic functionalities to get some control and monitoring on the simulations that you are running. So the, where is the pointer? Oh, yeah. So the, the, the area in the main window where you will find the parameters of your simulation is uh, there. And uh, you have all kinds of options there to select the, the machine, the platform you want to run on, the number of cores. Uh, you can also select the simulations that you are going to launch. 
And you can also, uh, of course, check the status and get the information about, uh, the, about your, uh, your calculations. Um, the start, uh, start or restarting your simulation uh, you can, can be done from the big uh, green, uh, red, uh, green <laughs> check mark there. And the stop, uh, the stop is found in the navigation uh, navigation area, which um, will also automatically update when you will start when your simulation will have been started. So uh, simulations can be uh, stopped, restarted, and monitored directly from the UI, and you don't need to to go to external uh, external tools to do that. You can just uh, stay in your uh, work session. Uh, we have a small, um, a small illustration. Small illustration. A small movie, just to illustrate the start of the simulation. So basically, uh, your simulation would be in waiting mode and starting. Uh, checking the, the green uh, check mark here will start it. And you see that the state navigation area is switching to analysis mode where you have an update of all the, the, the states that are uh, being calculated and uh, stored on, on disk. Uh, a small problem with this thing again. Excuse me for that. Uh, Okay, next item is about the result step storage. So a small reminder first, as you know, the total duration of, the, of, your, of your process is divided into uh, time steps, where the solver uh, proceeds solving your, uh, your model equations. But uh, the time step is not constant. And it can take quite some, uh, some experience to get a grip on the minimum or minimum maximum values that you, you, you would like to set for your simulation. So the, the, the risk, uh, if you want to take small time step to make sure that you are going to get all the important features of your, of your process, is of course long computation times, but this is out of the scope of this, uh, this presentation. But also you would uh, store a large amount of data, and some of these data are not going to be relevant for what you want to do. So again, uh, we have some, uh, some options to optimize the storage of your, of your results. Um, basically, again, in the area of the main window where you define the parameters for your simulation, you will find two options for the storage mode. So you have time mode and or a, a height mode. Part of these options, uh, you can uh, set different uh, different kind of, uh, of storage uh, storage options. So global storage. For in this example, you would you would uh, you would store every uh, two seconds. So you would reduce the the, the storage uh, storage you need. And another another. Uh, Storage mode is specific storage where you can set or define yourself the steps that you are going to keep on disk. Another, uh, another option, uh, to be uh, brief, is about uh, hide mode, hide mode storage, and the fine storage option where, for example, uh, in this case, you would store every 10 millimeters, but for the last one millimeter, you would uh, keep all the, all the increments. And uh, finally, uh, minimal, uh, minimal storage uh, option, which gives you the possibility to store uh, only the result uh, files corresponding to time storage steps. Uh, last point uh, I wanted to talk about uh, was about result file management. So if, again, you have stored too many uh, time steps and you want to get rid of some of your results, uh, the User interface provides an option for that. You can uh, start a dialog where you can uh, select uh, the steps you want to get rid of. Uh, all kind of options. Uh, 
Uh, you have automatic selections, uh, selection preview area where you can see what steps, which steps are going to be removed. Some uh, all kind of predefined distribution. Uh, so you will, uh, by executing this dialog, you will just get rid of all the results, which is also a very convenient option if you have uh, run parallel jobs. For example, you don't want to go and browse in your uh, in your folders trying to get all the partitions of your uh, of your data uh, and get uh, rid of them by hand. So that's it for my part, and I will now give the word to my colleague uh, Nadine. Thank you. Thank you please. Now I will, I will tell you about how to share data, how to, stand, how, uh, to make exports, a standard export. Let's see it together. The user interface provides different means to export data, screenshots, results, geometries, in setup and in analysis mode. Here we see the icon. Using these icons, we can, copy, we can make a copy of the graphical view to the clipboard. By these icons, we can copy the graphical view as images with different sizes. Plots can be exported as image file, or they can be exported as raw text file and can be used as an external tool in Microsoft Office. Geometries can be exported and can be used in marking grid or in CAD software. Geometries plus result can be re-imported and used in transvalor software, for example, in, trans <laughs> in, uh, in Tercast or, for, or in REMS 3D. Geometries plus results can be used as well in Abacus or in ANSYS to make structure analysis uh, computation. Another export mode is available in the setup mode. Here, for example, if you click on this icon, export mesh to file, you will export your geometry as a surface. Then now we see in these two sites easy links between Forge and external tools, between Forge and Microsoft Office, for example, CAD software, Transvalor software, or structure analysis softwares. Now we will see how to export animation. But before exporting an animation, we will see how to create your animation. We have two ways to create an animation in Forge. The first way, then you need to click on single stage animation, and the whole steps will be used in this animation. Once the animation is created, the animation controls button becomes activated. Another way is the flexible multi-stage animation. Like the name said, it is a multi-stage animation. Then the whole stage of the forming process will be used in this animation. Here, for example, we can see that we use the initial cooling, the upsetting, and the blocker in this animation. Then the three stage was used in the animation. For each stage, we will select the steps. And here we have a preview of these steps that are used in the animation. If you don't want to make the animation for the full case, you can uncheck this icon, and the animation will be done just only for one stage, using the preview selection uh, steps. Like before, if once the animation is done, the animation controls buttons will be activated. Now we make the animation. We will see how to export it. The animation can be exported as a video. It can be an AVE, a GIF, or an impact video. And it can be compressed. Here we see an AVE video where we use two markers, the plane layers and the tubes. And it was exported on AVE. But in this video, we cannot rotate, we, can we cannot change the view angle. Now I will, see, I will show you another export mode, which is VTFX. In the VTFX, we can rotate, we can zoom in this type of video. Here, we will talk about VTFX. Then how to do it on the interface? You go to Export, then VTFX. A window will appear. In this window, we can, for example, put a password to open our, uh, our video. Here we have the editable info area. We can see, for example, here that we are, we are displaying the temperature, the number of steps. 
we can see that we have appendable data. It means we, ha we can have more than one result on the same video. The TFX file can be loaded in a free Citron 3D viewer or in PowerPoint or in, in Word using a plugin. In this image, we see how the VTFX file open in free Citroen viewer. The advantage, like I said, of using a VTFX, it is a dynamic interactive video. We can zoom and rotate in it. We can make a data and results query. It means if we display the mesh, we can click on the node of the mesh and see the value of the field, for example, the temperature. This is a video illustration about how to open a VTFX on Citron 3D Viewer. We see that we are zooming on the results. We are displaying the mesh. It is the evolution of the temperature during the upsetting. Now we select a node, and we will see the value of the temperature on this node. On the same video, we are uploading another result, which is the false. Now we will see the false that appears after the forging. Then in the same video, we display two results. Citron plugin, if you want to install it, you can find it on the installation DVD. You click on Tools, and then you click on JL View 3D plugin installation. And new tabs will appear in PowerPoint or in Word, in the ribbon. It is Citron. You click on Insert 3D plugin, and then you select the file. For the 3D viewer, you can find it on the installation DVD or directly from the, from the download zone of Citron. Now we will see the one-click sharing the cloud. Your image and your animation will be dropped on our server in a personal secure area. Your colleague or your partner will be able to visualize this animation and to manipulate these videos. Then how to do it? You click on Export and then Actual View. The advantage, you can share your last simulation using one single click. It's a quick and reliable. It is fully integrated in the interface of Forge. In this video, we will see how to do it. First, what you need is to load your project. Then now we see the person loading the project. It is a ring rolling simulation. Then we will explore your, you will explore your results. Now we will display the temperature. And then we will make an animation to see the evolution of the temperature during the ring rolling. We are making the animation like I showed you before. Once the animation is done, we will click on Export, then Actual View. Like this, we are, this, we are uploading our results on the cloud. Once the results are successfully uploaded to the, on the cloud, you can send the link to, our, to your colleague or to your client to see these results. The result is uploaded on the cloud. And now it is successfully up uploaded. And this link, you need to, se to send it to your colleague or your partner to see these results. Here in this video, we will see together how to use the cloud. Then you need to go to My Models. And here you will see all the animations that you drop on the cloud. Here, this is the ring rolling simulation that we make together. We can see that the person can rotate in this uh, to see the animation, okay, can move, can display the mesh, and can see the value of the field on the mesh. Then that it has all the features of the VTFX file that I showed you before. You need to know that we have a different sharing levels. We have the public one where any person that goes to the cloud can see this result. The shareable, only the person to whom we send the link can see the result. Private, only you can see your own results. Team, you will go to, your to the cloud and you create a team, and only the person on the, of the team can see this result. Account conditions, the number of models is limited to then private, unlimited for public, and we have a maximum size of 50, mega, of 50 megabytes. To conclude, 
Keep in mind that the user interface offers all kinds of tools to greatly improve your simulation workflow by saving the user interface states, saving the workspace, optimize your simulation time step, Minimize the storage before and after the simulation have run. Then if we store a lot of information, we can delete it after and have less, uh, less storage. Easily share your models and results using the export VTFX or using the cloud. I hope that all these features that we show you, me and Eric, will help you in your daily work in Forge. Thank you for your attention. Do you have any questions? Uh, on the cloud, yes. so uh, the data will be, how many days it will be there? Is there any time limit? Limit time for what? Uh, see, I'll upload the yes. file and okay. I'll say private. Uh, uh, so then there will you be have 10 private. For yeah. example, if it is a private, it will be 10. Then if you upload 11, it will be uh, erased. No, a no, time? I'm asking no, about time. It time to upload it? it uh, uh, time to see it? it? No, will it be there for a month, two months, I'll three months, or a year? Oh, okay. uh, just to answer the question, no? <laughs> <laughs> no, at this point there is no time limit uh, no, no, uh, on the yes. retention uh -huh. of, the, of the files, so uh, it stays forever. So yeah. it might even stay after you pass away, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> How much you want? All life. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all in time life. Uh, w w we are not saying that we want you to pass away. Don't, don't. <laughs> certainly not. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your presentation. And you said that you, we can upload uh, our results to cloud. Uh, it's an idea. If it be, uh, will be nice to have, if the solving ended, it would be create the animation and upload it automatically so that if it's a long-term simulation, let's say a two-day or three-day and I'm in a trip, so that I can get the results when the simulation is end, ended. I mean, it could be an idea to think about it. Yes, okay, thank you for the suggestion.